Okay, this is Mario Kart DS review. I'm trying now a new camera angle. Uh, and another thing I'm also doing is trying to keep my little brother in the all the way. My first, uh, my second and third video reviews got rejected because. Okay. Got rejected because they're too long. They're short. They're short compared to Sonic, dude. Oh yeah, and my DS light is white, not pink. It's my eye toy. It has a red little light. Okay. There are several modes: Grand Prix, Time Trials, Versus mode, Battle mode, and Missions. I'm not gonna do Grand Prix. I'm just gonna show you the new levels that they have. And in Verse, you can uh, you can customize your uh, race the way you want it to. 50C, 150C, uh, 100C, Mirror mode. Uh, you can make them hard, you can choose the order that you're in, the rules, which I really don't care, it's either you win, the number of races, or you can have team. I prefer not to do that though. So I'm just gonna race, standard, hard, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they added 16 new tracks, and then they brought back 16 old tracks from the Retro Grand Prix. Mario Mario Circuit 1, Moo Moo Farm, Luigi Circuit, and Peach Circuit, Donut Plains 1, Rap Snowland, Bowser Castle 2, and Baby Park, Koopa Beach 2, Choco Mountain, Luigi Circuit, and Mushroom Ridge, and yeah, Choco Island 2, Banshee Ward Walk, Sky Garden, and Yoshi Circuit. And they also brought 16 new tracks. And some, they have the exact same name from, like, the N64 ver version, but they're different. Like, Mario Wario Stadium. That was in the N64 version, now it's different. Okay, here, I'm gonna start off with Delfino Square. Trying to get the angle pretty good. Sorry, it's, a uh, sort of hard to do. I'm trying to watch what I'm doing on the video not the game itself. It's different. Okay, the controls. Basically, in every Mario Kart, there's no real story behind it. All you do is just race people, throw items at people, and there are new items, such as this. The squid. Squirts ink at you. Squirts ink at you. Yeah, and the bullet bill is also new. He comes flying down the middle of the track, killing everybody who is stupid enough to get in this way. Those are the two new items. And, uh, here are the controls. A is to accelerate, B is to break, D pads to move, L is to throw your items, X is to throw your items. You can change the map on the bottom screen by hitting the, uh, the what's it called? The by hitting the touch screen, or you can just hit the Y button. Either way works. And the R button is to drift. Okay, I'm not doing too well. Sorry. Here's a shortcut. It's better if you have a uh, boost, but whatever. Okay, I better hurry up with this. This review's gonna get pretty long and lengthy. I'm trying to get it down real low, too. I have to get this review down under 10 minutes because they rejected me because it was 11 minutes. Which I thought was sort of stupid. The MB was only 60 something. And I get rejected. That sucks. So I had to lower the video quality just a little, but it's still pretty good video quality. Okay, and basically they do a point system. Uh, yeah, first place gets ten points, then it goes down to eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then last place gets zero. 
You have multiplayer, which you can do single card play or DS to DS. Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, which sort of lacks. You can only race against three people, and you can't even battle. You can just race, unlike in multiplayer. Single player. Okay, we'll go back to this. Here, I gotta do the. I'm not gonna do the time trials. Uh, time trials, though, you can. If you're really good, I'm not great at time trials. Uh, you can get staff ghost data if you're fast enough. I'm trying to do this really fast. I'm sorry, but uh, you can send ghosts, which are certain time trials, and you can also receive them. Uh, it's like you're trying to beat your friend's record. Okay, balloon battle and shine runners. Uh, I don't remember if balloon battles new or not, but they have some. It's a crazy feature. What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to blow in your Nintendo DS. I still can't get it up. Okay. Yeah, you get the point. And you just fight, and it's sort of like a twisted metal sort of thing, I guess you could call it. The E rated version of Twisted Metal. Okay? Shine Runners. Basically, you collect the shines, which are from. Uh. I forgot the name of the game Super Mario Sunshine. Okay. And what you do is you try and collect them, and without getting hit, because if you get hit, you end up losing the shine. I believe this was also in Double Dash. If you get hit by an item, you go flying down, and if you fall off, you go flying down. Well, you lose a. Shine, there we go, I'm sorry. Whatever. Even my Mario Hoops 3 on 3 video got rejected because it was too long. Okay, see look, I lose Shine. And it gets thrown somewhere, and then you gotta go collect it. And at the end of, it'll have a certain time limit, and what happens is, the people who are at 0 or uh, 1 or something, or the lowest number on the board, will go die, and they, well they won't die, but you get the point. Okay, and mission. Uh, here I'll do level one. Basically, it's just sort of fundamental things. It's this is an added feature that they made. This feature is really fun. You can even fight bosses, which I thought was really cool. The big bully. Everybody knows him. There, all these bosses are basically from Super Mario 64. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to uh, what my webcam was reading. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ponage. Okay, that's basically it, really. If you want to race me in Wi-Fi, uh, go look up on my profile and send me a message. Uh, when you want to race, what time, Eastern or Western or whatever. Okay, and I'm out.